Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the container with most water problem. Given n non-negative integers, a sub 1, a sub 2, all the way to a sub n, where each represents a point at coordinate i, a sub i. n vertical lines are drawn such that the two endpoints of line i is at i a sub i and i 0. Find two lines which together with x-axis forms a container such that the container contains the most water. So as you can see in this problem it helps to draw a picture and you have one picture here. You can see that they give you an array that contains these numbers from a sub 1 all the way to a sub n and each number represents a point in the coordinate plane here. So for instance in this case, you can see that there's a point here and there's a one here. So there's a point a one and there's a line from from one to zero. And here there's a line, there's a point eight, and there's a line from eight to one. One in the x-axis. And here um, there's a six, so there's a point here at six, so we draw a line from six to two. 2 in the x in the x axis so this is the representation once we draw the picture it's easier to think of the problem what they want us to do is to calculate the area between two lines that can hold the maximum amount of water so you have to focus on maximizing the amount of water that you can store between two lines and there are several ways to solve this problem. One way is to use the brute force approach. So we start with um, two for loops, and we're going to compare every possible um, every possible rectangle or every possible space between um, every possible lines between two lines, and we're going to have a variable to keep track of the maximum we have seen so far. But because we're going to be using, because we're going to be using two for loops, two nested loops, the time complexity would be quadratic. It would be big O and square, which is bad. So, can we do better? Yes, we can do better. What we can do is that we can use the two pointer technique. So we can have a left pointer initialized at the beginning, and the right pointer initialized at the end, and then. We calculate the amount of water um, at the widest range between this line and this line. And notice that the amount of water that can be stored between two lines is limited by the shorter line. So for instance here, the maximum amount of water that we, that we can store um, is between this line and this line. But because this line is, is smaller than this line, there's the maximum amount of water is limited by this line. So we have to focus on the smaller line. And we calculate the water by using the formula for the area of the rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So if we have two variables, the left and right, we just have to say right minus left, that would be uh, the width. And the length would be determined by the smaller line because uh, the smaller line is what limits the amount of water that can be stored between those two lines and because we want to maximize the amount of water once we finish processing these two lines we want to maximize it so we we have to move the pointer that is pointing to the smaller line because we want to try to find that to, to find a taller line because that's going to allow us to maximize the water so without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, we need a variable for the final result or the maximum area. Integer result gets a value of zero. A left pointer gets a value of zero, initialized at the beginning, at the first line. And a right pointer gets a value of height, that length, minus one. So the right will be here and left will be here initially, because that way we can start considering um, the widest range. Then we're going to say 
while left is less than right. And at the end, we're going to return the final result. So every iteration, we're going to calculate the area between the re between the two lines using the rectangle the, the area of the rectangle formula and we want to always keep track of the maximum we have seen so far between those two lines so i have to update my final result every time i'm going to say result gets a value of math that max of the previous maximum i saw before or remember that we have to focus on the height of the of the shorter line because the water cannot be taller than the shorter line because as you can see here this line is taller and this one is shorter but it cannot be taller than the shorter line because it's gonna go outside the rest of the water will go outside so we have to find the the shorter line so math that mean height of left or height of right so we find the height of the shorter line that's going to be, we can call this um, the length, and then we have to multiply by the width. That's the formula of the area of the rectangle. So we multiply by the width once we find the, the shorter line times, and the width is the right minus the left. So we multiply um, the width times the length, that's going to give us the area and then we compare this area with the maximum we saw before if this area is bigger then we found a new final result a new maximum and then as i said we have to move um the pointer that is pointing to the shorter line because we want to maximize the amount of water so we check if the height of the left is less than the height of the right then plus plus left otherwise minus minus right and that's kind of that's going to allow us to maximize the amount of water because if we keep moving this uh, to the left we're gonna get to a taller line and that's gonna make sure that we keep checking for the possibility that we have a container that has more water than before. So I'm going to run the code. All right, this seems to be working fine. Now I'm going to submit my solution. And this is working perfectly. This is two milliseconds faster than 95.82% of Java submissions for container with most water. So as you can see, the space complexity is big O of one because we're only using a few variables and the time complexity is big O of N where N is the length of the input array height. So if you like the video, please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.